this National Police Week. Wake County is recognizing the sacrifices made by law enforcement officers and their families. Since 1922, 23 people who wear a badge were killed in the line of duty in Wake County. WRL's Chris Lovingood shows us how they were honored today. Raleigh's May Mandy Concert Hall is typically filled with musicians and their instruments, but this time, just a lone piper with a somber song and a prayer. Today, Lord, we remember the men and women who not only laid down their lives for their friends, but also for those that they did not know. Raleigh's Police Chief Estella Patterson says freedom is not free. It comes at a cost that cannot be quantified and a debt that cannot be repaid. They each are fallen, but never forgotten. To give of oneself so that others might have the chance of a better life. That is what makes a hero. Michael Easley Jr., the U.S. Attorney General for the Eastern District of the state, says members of law enforcement put their lives on the line every day. It is their spouses, their parents, their children and friends who help carry the burden. A long line of those who served paid respects to the people who died serving in Wake County communities. Easley says their pledge to serve and protect remains. To see justice done, to uphold the rule of law and protect the civil rights and liberties that we all hold dear. I'm Chris Lovingood, WRAL News.